This is a tutorial on how to make a mask, a cyborg mask. Start with your simple plastic on a tray, put it in the toaster oven, and put it on toast for about three minutes, and it should give this clear effect. You then want to start to pull the simple plastic off the tray, and then you want to start to smooth it out and flatten it out. And then you want to take this and put it on your metal plate and actually roll it out as flat as possible. I've taken a sample free mask off of the website you can see at the bottom of the paper. I cut it out and I cut it bigger because it wasn't big enough for my face. Then what I did was take it and put it over my face and do a guideline as to where I wanted it to end and start and where the eyeball was and had my general pattern. And then I traced it out onto the simple plastic, heated it a little bit, and then took scissors and cut out the outer edge and then took an X-Acto knife to cut in the inner edge. What we're going to do is we're going to use this drawing that I did for Silva Cyborg as the base design for the mask. So what you want to do is you want to take your blow dryer and you really want to heat it all up. Just heat it up because we're fixing to add our design in from my previous drawing. And I'm using a wax carving kit to do this with. So I'll make sure that I give you the, the company. It's a wonderful kit and it has several different tips on it. But I'll go in and I do all my designs and I'm doing the around the eye design, which has a very ribbed pattern. So I'm taking a flat, sharp edge to make that pattern. Then I'm heating it again. Trying to keep it heated all over. And then I'm going to start making the general line separation. And I start out making a line with the sharp edge. And then I go in with a nice, smoother, rounder edge and make it bigger. And put in the creases. And I just keep doing this all the way around until I get the whole design carved in. Which this is actually a very easy design to carve in, really. Because we're not doing all the gears. So I was finding it was a little bit long, so I'm taking off this tip over here. Just heating it and slicing it. And then I take the tray, flip it over, run cold water underneath, and it comes off easily like that. And that's what it should look like. Now the next step is to mold it to the face. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our metal tray back out and we're going to blow dry it and heat it up as much as we can but not too hot because we're fixing to mold it to our face so really want to heat that up until it's running kind of clear and bendable make sure that it's going to mold good then what you want to do is take it into the bathroom and press it in and mold it to your face once you have it that way run it through cold water to solidify it to where it looks like this now it's time to add the life to it. We're going to start with basic black acrylic paint and basic white acrylic paint on a paint tray. We're sticking with three colors. And then we're going to go with a Craft Smart Silver, which is cheap. It's something you can get at Walmart. You can also get the same brand a black and white at Walmart if you choose, but I chose to use the metallic color. And we're going to start off, and you're going to fill in the grooves with black. All the grooves you made with black. And you don't have to be real particular about it. You can just fill it in because all you're going to do is you're going to take a sponge brush and lightly go over it, and it'll clean up those lines. And you'll see here shortly after we get done with this what I'm talking about. So yeah, just make sure you go in and make sure all those creases are filled in with a nice black paint coating.
this is kind of nice in that you don't have to really worry about the detail too much. You're just going in and filling it in. It, it can be kind of sloppy. You don't want it too sloppy, but it can be kind of sloppy. And we're almost done with this. starting to see the pattern that you've created and the gears. So yeah, we're doing a ribbing area. Okay, now we want to go to our sponge brush and we're going to use the silver and we're going to kind of keep it clean. We're going to lightly pat over the mask with the silver, with the sponge brush, and you can see that it's cleaning up all those black lines. It's a really neat process. And um, naturally there will be some paint that gets into those black areas. That doesn't take much. You'll just go back with the thinner brush and go in and just touch it up. And so, yep, yeah, gonna go back and touch it up. You have to be more careful this time. You can't be a sloppy, you gotta be real clean with it. And just nice and neatly fill in those areas that might have gotten filled with a little bit of silver. Just to keep it clean. Okay, and now we're going to add some highlighted areas with some white paint. It isn't going to take a whole lot. Just go around and highlight those edges. This isn't real specific. This is kind of where you want to highlight it. If you even want to highlight it, it's not really necessary if you don't want to. I just think it adds to it. By the way, this is my first project working with simple plastic, so um, this has been interesting. I, I think I like it and definitely want to do more projects in the future with it. So yeah, here it is, painted, and then what I did was found a nice circular red rhinestone, and I glued it on the forehead and took a Dremel, or you can take a drill and put holes in the side, put the elastic in, and voila, there it is. It's done. It's finished. So there you go. Your cyborg simple plastic mask.